Hi, this is Amy from Crochet Jewel Channel. I'm going to show you how to make this crochet flower coaster. I used an app hook medium worsted yarn. The pattern is down below and this measures five inches across. So if you want it smaller, you can use a smaller hook and bigger, you can use a bigger hook. Okay, so let's get started. In the magic circle, I'm going to work a slip stitch into it and then eight single crochet. If this is your first time, Doing the magic circle, there is a link down below. So I'm going to insert my hook into it and grab the yarn and then yarn over and pull through two loops and then complete eight all together. Okay, pull it closed and then slip stitch. Now I'm going to add pink yarn. And this is a cotton blend, but um, any type of medium worsted yarn will work. And then I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to work two single crochet together with the chain three so yarn over insert my hook grab the yarn yarn over pull through two loops and then yarn over insert my hook grab the yarn Yarn over and pull through two loops. And then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. And then chain one. And then I'm going to do three double crochet together. Grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops. And then yarn over, insert the hook, grab the yarn, yarn over and pull through two loops. And then yarn over, insert the hook grab the yarn and then yarn over pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook and then chain one and then just repeat that three double crochet in each stitch around you'll have uh, eight all together So chain one and then insert your hook in the chain three and slip stitch. Slip your color through for a color change and then chain three. And then double crochet in the space behind. And then you will work more double crochet in that space when you get to the end to complete it. And then in the space in between, you're going to work a double crochet two times. And then chain three. And then two double crochet in the same space. And that space is in between the previous three double crochet together. And then you're going to repeat that. You're going to work in between that space. There is no chain space there, but there is a space. You're going to work the two double crochet, chain three, two double crochet.
repeat that around. Okay, so at the very end, you're going to work your two double crochet and then chain three. And then substitch into the chain three to finish. Now slip stitch into the chain three so you can start the next round which will be white yarn. Now I'm going to add my white color of yarn and pull it through and all of these ends you can secure at the end with a yarn needle. And then I'm going to slip stitch into it and chain three and then work two double crochet. Then chain three and then work three double crochet. Now you're going to repeat three double crochet, chain three, and three double crochet in each chain space. Now you're going to slip stitch into the chain three, slip stitch into the chain three space. And then you're going to take your next color and pull it through. And then you're going to double crochet eight into the chain space. single crochet into the next space and then work your eight double crochet into the next chain three space. You will repeat this around until you get back to the beginning. single crochet in the next stitch and then slip stitch into the beginning stitch 
and then fasten off and weave in all of your ends with your yarn needle. So here's a sample of how to weave in your ends. You do it on the back side up to about three or four times and then cut the yarn. I already did it with all the other pieces of yarn. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's finished. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.